Coming up, local faith leaders are voicing their support for a mask mandate in Sioux Falls, why they think it's an important tool to slow the spread of COVID-19. Plus, maintaining a strong economy during a pandemic, Sioux Falls' mayor lays out what the city has going for it. Good morning, this is Kevin Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A 48-year-old Sioux Falls man is charged with the murder of a man who was found dead in a ditch over the weekend. The investigation started Saturday morning when a deputy noticed a fire in a ditch outside of Brandon. That's where 22-year-old Savon Karlstrom's body was discovered. The investigation eventually led to the arrest of Lamont Walker. The Minnehaha County Sheriff says multiple agencies got to work right away on Saturday. Within a fairly short time, we probably had a total of 20 to 25 investigators, police officers, deputy sheriffs working this case. Walker also faces kidnapping and rape charges stemming from the case. According to an affidavit, a 20-year-old woman told investigators Walker held her against her will and raped her twice. A 20-year-old Del Rapids man is behind bars accused of raping a 15-year-old girl. Sioux Falls police say the victim and a friend went to a house Saturday in the 800 block of South Day Avenue. Investigators say the two men in the home gave the girls some beer. At some point, the victim and suspect were left alone in the house. Suspect ended up raping the girl, and then sometime later, uh, some friends showed up of the girls and knew that she was in there. They were able to get her to come out of the house, and then uh, she said she needed to go to the hospital, and that's where she had made the comment she'd been raped. Police arrested Cooper Miller on charges of fourth-degree rape and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. We are learning more about a serious rollover crash in southern Sioux Falls. The crash happened just after 10 o'clock yesterday morning near 69th Street and Western Avenue. Police say an SUV was northbound on Western when it crossed the southbound lane and left the road. The vehicle hit a light pole and then rolled. Police say the driver was arrested for DWI, driving suspended, no insurance, and reckless driving. Turning to weather, warmer days are still ahead, but there's snow in today's forecast. How much snow will we see? Well, we could get some heavy snow at times in parts of eastern Kevoland, and by the end of the day, we're talking some areas maybe around a half foot or more, and I think that will happen mainly east of Interstate 29. Let's go and show you what's uh, going on in our outline. So snow today in eastern Kevoland and remaining cold as we do go through the week. You know, we're looking at temperatures in the 30s and 40s for afternoon highs. Yeah, that's cold compared to the 70s and 80s we had last week. Slightly warmer temperatures come in for this weekend. We'll try to return to 50 degrees. And, you know, just looking at some of the models here for snowfall amounts in and around Sioux Falls, they range anywhere from maybe three inches to as close as uh, seven inches. So yeah, we had that range going of around three to six in and around Sioux Falls, heavier in the Minnesota and Iowa, and more details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian Carstens coming up. Thank you, Scott. By tonight, we may know whether the Sioux Falls City Council will move forward with a mask mandate. Ahead of the vote, a group of faith leaders is voicing its support. They believe a mask mandate boils down to one single principle. It will save lives. We believe and depend on elected civic leaders to act for the common good, especially in times of crisis like what we find ourselves in right now. The evidence is mounting, and there is really no question. The masks help. They help to decrease the spread of the virus. They decrease transmission. They decrease people from getting the virus. They decrease the amount of viral particles that you are exposed to which in turn can probably decrease the severity of the virus to which you are experiencing when you become ill. The group sent letters in support of the mask mandate to the Sioux Falls City Council. A second reading of the proposed mask ordinance is on the City Council agenda for tonight. Sioux Falls economy remains strong despite the COVID-19 pandemic. That's according to the mayor who spoke at the downtown Rotary yesterday. The mayor answered a lot of questions concerning the virus, but he also talked about the economy, jobs, and the passage of recreational marijuana. I think we're going to look back someday, gospel according to Paul, and regret the day that this went into law. The mayor says he does support medicinal marijuana. Rapid City is setting records for building permit activity despite the COVID-19 pandemic and financial crisis in some parts of the country. The city has issued permits totaling more than $40 million per month for the last three months. 
Right now, the vice president of Dream Design International is running several building projects in town right now. Behind those projects uh, are electricians, welders, painters, um, construction workers. So it's great, uh, great for our economy. The city also issued 687 residential roofing permits in October that were worth about $7 million. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Good morning, Brian. All right, good morning, guys, and good morning, everybody. We do have a winter weather advisory today for much of southeastern Kettleland. Running here, the western edge of that line is about Parkston, over here to near uh, Brookings. So if you're in southwest Minnesota, northwest Iowa, you are probably going to get the thick of this, at least the heaviest accumulations by the end of the afternoon. I'm expecting Sioux Falls 3 to 6. Our going forecast, but four to eight in Worthington and Yankton's kind of on that edge of that four inch accumulation line. You go south of Sioux City or east of Worthington, you may transition over to more icing. So be alert to that on I-35 and also I-29. Futurecast update reflects that snow expansion quickly this morning into the early afternoon. Sioux Falls right in the middle of that through 12 o'clock and we expect uh, the activity to taper off through early evening. So we should be done with that and tomorrow quieter weather although the snow will impact the high in Sioux Falls tomorrow instead of getting 40s we're probably going to have to hold it in the upper 30s and maybe even a new little bit of snow in the west tomorrow night into early on Thursday here's your forecast in the seven day update 30s continue on Thursday mid 40s by Friday and then hopefully nearing 50 by the weekend small chance of a shower on Saturday Aberdeen in the northeast looking at highs tomorrow a little warmer at 48 back down to 34 on Thursday and then returning near 50 by the weekend. Very respectable temperature change uh, in your seven day forecast for this time of year. Pier also a chance of hitting 50 by Friday, 52 on Saturday, and likewise, Rapid City will have generally warmer weather at the end of the forecast. We'll check out the latest details with our Storm Center update right now here at Kettleland.com.